a second attempt at putting a hole through a ping pong paddle. Somebody else has done it, we can do it. As I said before, this, fat, this cannon works only on atmospheric pressure. There's no high pressure gas involved. We have a diaphragm up here in the front made of a Mylar balloon, which I find is a little better than the space blanket. One and a half inch PVC to this point where the ping pong ball is resting in the tube. Is there a technical term for the PVC? Please put a pipe right there. Is there a technical term for this? Barrel. Or the Raminator? Oh, the Raminator or the uh, Raymond poop, Raymond gen poop generator, generator, RPG. Yes. I knew there was a technical term. <laughs> there is a technical term. Okay. The vacuum hose. Now, this is a secret to our success. Is a larger pipe, well, this is a three inch diameter PVC Raminator pipe. That gave us over 500 miles an hour. Another one expands upwards to a four inch pipe with a cap for holding four layers of a Mylar balloon because the force coming in here at about 14 or so pounds per square inch, hitting this with an area, oh, I hope it's somewhere around seven square inches. with somewhere around seven square inches. Multiply that and you get a number which is pretty big. And that big number of force is funneled into a smaller area magnifying the force and into a smaller area magnifying the force farther. And it comes out to I believe roughly 1,200 pounds of pressure, of air pressure which is force, not itself has no positive air pressure. If you look down the barrel, you can see there's nothing. These diaphragms made of mylar on each end to create a vacuum. And when we pop the back diaphragm, the atmospheric pressure comes into the large tube, which is about four, it's four inches in diameter, creating a of my life. And this of course was designed, the Raymanator, but it was specifically designed to force the poop out of Mr. Raymond. There's an RG, <laughs> a Raymond poop generator, an RPG. I don't think I've ever needed one of those, but it'll help. Laxative gun! <laughs> force, not pressure force. And we are now about ready to start. There's our generator. We uh, can't afford a vacuum pump like other people, so this is a vacuum chamber from about, I don't know how old that thing is. Well, prior to the Kennedy administration, I believe. I was thinking Lincoln. <laughs> anyway, it's old. Oh, it's steam power. Is that <laughs> yeah. steam? It's, no, it's not quite steam. No, it's not quite steam. <laughs> yeah. You know what's not quite steam, though? Is that. Oh, this is the computer we used to build our, <laughs> our, cro our chronograph for um, basically timing how fast the ball went. I believe this Windows... Using software from at least 15 years ago. Is that Windows 95 or 98? 95. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Pentium... Ready for this? A Pentium 3! Wow, and if I remember correctly, it did not identify your uh, little thumb drive, did No, it? I had to find a thumb drive. I had to borrow my wife's, the cheapest, oldest one. <laughs> That's the only one I've done it, because you can't get... Alright, well let's... Now, we can't afford not only a vacuum pump, but I went to the hardware store. No modern fittings fit this old thread. 
So I couldn't get a fitting to thread into that thread hole that don't make them anymore. So we were using a funnel, which fits over the hole as such. Okay. Creating a darn good vacuum. Oh, here we go. There's the paddle. The mine. invention. Invention? The mother of no, I thought. necessity is the mother of invention. I don't know. According to the patent office in 1899, everything that could ever be invented had already been invented. Let's take a look here. Safety first. Yes, unfortunately. By the way, we are using a ping pong ball, the strongest one we find which is a three star because the one stars were blowing up in the barrel. We have a real ping pong paddle this time. It's a cheap one, but it's too cheap. Got it fixed and not as cheap there. Just beware. You're gonna shop online. It's dicksportinggoods.com. <laughs> What's coming in my mail? <laughs> it has three stars. Are you ready to turn this on? I don't think I do want to. Adding a little extra silicon between the funnel. Yeah, you got it, that website? Vacuum pump. I get this from Vix online too. Is this silicon? <laughs> So we have no valve or pressure gauge, so instead I have to listen to when the pump starts to um, labor. That sounds laborious. What was it? That sounds laborious. laborious. <laughs> what do you think? Do a 10 count? Do a 10 count or a 3 count? Is it 10 count and where's my stabber? I got it. You want it? Okay. You can do it. Oh, you want me to do it? You can do it. I'll hold it down. I'm going to give you a count. You're going to count it. Uh, you ready? Okay. Yep. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's see, did it dent it? First off, it's a fail. It's a fail. Yeah. It's the, well, the best ping pong ball we could buy. I don't think we're going to use that paddle for a ping pong game, though. No. I would use it, but not for ping pong. 
Should I cut the video at that point, or should he add more to it? Okay. <laughs>